It's cost Airbus $14 billion so far to get their A350 rolling out onto the tarmac at Toulouse. Tens of thousands of jobs and Europe's future in the aviation industry were at stake as it took to the runway. Two test pilots and four flight test engineers were on board, all of them supplied with parachutes just in case of unexpected developments. But the weather and meticulous preparation both smiled on Airbus for the maiden flight. By launching just two days before the Paris air show, Airbus hoped to steal a march on their main rivals Boeing and grab all the publicity for their vision of the future. So no last minute delays and a faultless takeoff. Relief all round. Considering the vast number of things that could have gone wrong, Airbus could be forgiven for a bit of flag waving and self congratulation. They think they have the edge over their main rival, the Boeing Dreamliner. We'll win this battle because we have a, a more mature uh, aircraft. We have, uh, I believe, better technologies. Boeing's Dreamliner has been hit by troubles with batteries, but they're now getting back in the air and are still ahead of the A350. They already have more than 800 orders compared to Airbus's score, hovering just above 600. But the A350 has the edge in fuel savings with its wings and fuselage made up primarily with carbon fiber reinforced polymers. Carbon dioxide emissions will also be reduced along with noise levels. Airbus now hope to catch a new tailwind at next week's Paris Air Show and begin to overtake Boeing. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Toulouse.